I love working here at Morningstar. To me, it's unlike the government, you know. We have a lot of freedom here. I, I love this job. I plan on working here until I retire because it's so different. Self-management is, at a very, very high level, exactly the way you live when you go home from work. We just ask you to keep that hat on when you come to work at Morningstar. The Morningstar was founded in 1970 by Chris Roofer. He was uh, at the time a, uh, a college student at UCLA and uh, he leased his first truck, a, uh, a big rig, and started hauling tomatoes into and out of factories. And uh, over a few years of doing that, he kind of had some thoughts about how factories could be run. And in 1990, he started what was the Morningstar Packing Company's very first facility in Los Banos, California. We've grown since 1990 to uh, three very large facilities. Those facilities um, process about 40% of California's processed tomato crop. We are the largest processor of tomatoes in the world. So who's the boss? I think in a traditional organization, there's kind of a very rigid interpretation of who the boss is. We have no bosses here at Morningstar. I have no, no boss, so, well, every, everybody's a, basically a boss. When you come in on board at Morningstar, you and the colleagues around you are expected to kind of take a time out, sit down, examine yourself, your, your competencies, your, your, what you have to bring to the table, the things you're trying to achieve in your career and in your life, and to organize your work accordingly. And as long as you are achieving your mission and the enterprise is achieving their mission, th there really aren't a whole lot of boundaries around how that works. And you really, what you're doing is you're working with other business units. You know, I may want to get something done on the operations side, so what I have to do is not because I'm the so-called head of quality or whatever your job title would supposedly be, you need to go and you need to negotiate with another business unit, maybe it's the evaporation guys, and we need to negotiate, but at the end of the day, it's what's best for the company. We don't have a structured, uh, structured hiring process. Here at Morningstar, as a group, as a family, we're involved and we make those decisions together. You hire the right people, you get the right person in the job, you don't need to micromanage them. There is no micromanaging here. And, and it's, it's really a breath of fresh air, to be honest with you. Politics as, as a kind of concept is probably the, or the absence thereof within Morningstar is probably the most interesting thing that most people notice almost immediately. You know, there, there's no kind of trying to climb the ladder or vying for resources that are kind of scarce and being doled out by somebody. All of us are free to, you know, buy what we need to buy to do our job right. It's not that there is unlimited funds it's simply that you have the ability to expend the resources you need as long as you get the appropriate, you know, get people involved who have expertise and uh, are gonna be affected by it. You have the ability to spend the money. If I need to spend $80,000 on a lab instrument, I buy the lab instrument. Uh, in my other company, that doesn't fly. Uh, not only would I not get it, um, the, the process to get to that point is, is very difficult. The things that quash people are overwhelming bureaucracy and red tape, inability to do the things that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt are the things that need to be done. I think the people on the floor are probably the best ones to make the decisions, you know. We see it run, we've done the maintenance on it, we know more about it than anybody. Kind of fundamental to our way of doing things is that the person with the most insight, the most knowledge should be the person making the decision, period, end of story. Knowledge is what gets you respect here, not a job title. We've pushed the fundamentals of management out to everyone in the enterprise. We've also pushed the fundamentals of creativity and innovation out to everyone in the enterprise. Very explicit about the fact that the most important thing within an organization is improvement. The best thing for me working here at Morningstar is I'm constantly learning, constantly growing, constantly being exposed to things that I normally wouldn't be exposed to. I think I've improved our dice area a lot the last three years. I started with uh, other colleagues' help, a full document control program. We added a, uh, a product hopper to one of our, our lines, so we increased the speed, line speed from 80 cans a minute to about 150 cans a minute. I think most human beings have some internal drive that they want to do good things that create some sort of benefit for people. It's very good to feel like you're bringing in value to a company. Historically, the most prosperous, happiest human societies on a very macro scale are those societies that are built on the same fundamental principles. And so our thought is that, hey, if that works with a whole lot of people, can it work with not quite as many people within the confines of you know, a company? Everybody takes a lot of pride in what they do here. I think the self-management kind of breeds that. It, it breeds accountability. I feel like Morningstar is mine. Um, I, I, think, I believe all of us here take ownership, and that's one of the things that makes it great. When work follows you home, but in a good way, when it helps you feel good about what you're doing, 
it, uh, that kind of growth rubs off into personal life. What Morningstar has kind of become is a place where people learn what it means to have true individual freedom and personally be responsible for their actions. And that's actually a very invigorating thing for most people. And so over time, they start to kind of embed this into their personality, into their fundamental character. And they kind of carry that away when they leave Morningstar, which is a very kind of interesting phenomenon. I've grown much more here at Morningstar than I think I could ever have grown in my other jobs. I'm very proud to work here, very proud.